Every one of us knows what that is. It's a thermostat. Every room you walk into, there's a thermostat. It's what sets the temperature of a room. At the same time, on that same thermostat, we saw a thermometer. It said that it's currently 64 degrees in this room, but I want to set it a little bit higher, a little bit hotter to 68 degrees. And just by turning it up, I can change the temperature of a room. Here's a thought I want to share with you. As Christians and as Christian leaders, we're called to be thermostats, not thermometers. We're not called to just react to the temperature of the room or to respond to the, to the mood of an environment or to, uh, or to conform uh, to the environments that we're in. But we're called to be thermostats where we set the temperature to life-giving. We set the temperature to encouraging. We set the temperature and the mood to truth, speaking the truth in love. Here's something that I just value as a church, is that we are called to be thermostats. We are atmosphere changers. We are environment creators. And we're going to do it in ways that reflect the image of our creator, Christ Jesus. So when we step into church, let's be thermostats. Let's set the temperature of those environments to loving, to life-gifting, to welcoming, uh, to, to bearers of the truth, to encouragers, to prayer warriors. When we walk into our environments at work, let's do that. Let's be the light of Jesus everywhere that we go. When it comes to our homes, let's make sure that we're creating homes that are centered on Christ. Let's be um, moms and dads and brothers and sisters and sons and daughters uh, that truly reflect Christ in all that we do. And we point people to him in Jesus' name. So who are we as a church? We're thermostats.